Howdy guys, I am Kolik and this is Summoner's War. Today we're doing a G3 battle against, um, well, we're pressing back up into G3. There are several battles today. I don't know exactly how many. Um, it could be three. Sometimes we get high enough that we don't do Last Sword, but I'm going to guess this time it's going to be three. It really just depends on how well our defenses are doing. Now this is the only green tower left, so I'm going to go ahead and do him first because I'm a nice person like that. I have gone ahead and set up my teams on this account so that uh, this device so that you can you know, I'll have to slug through them. Okay, so this team here is um, now you may look at this and you say, I can copper this, but you got to be careful because this first guy can be built as defense. And he is a, because uh, this ability right here scales with defense. So if you try to bring a copper in, you may not be able to one-shot Verad, and that could be an issue. So I much prefer to go ahead and just Katarina rather than copper. Um, even with Delphor, that can still be an issue, though the reset certainly does help against both of them if uh, you don't have a Katarina team set up yet. All right, this second team is basically just a mixed-up set. It, it's like a, it's, it's pretending to be a Sierra Orion Rakan instead of... I don't know why you want to do this, guys. Yeah, speed is much better than the extra little hit points on Rakan. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do my normal anti-Sierra team, which is this uh, fifth team, I think. And uh, the Bastat... It's probably not going to do anything at all. But we'll see. Alright, well, someone's already attacking it. Good. That should help us win this guild war. And obviously we need to be efficient in winning it because, well, we, we want to move on to another guild war. Uh, so now it's a 12-hour delay. So first bomb does nothing. Okay, uh, we're going to go after Rakan first. And uh, that does... Uh, I think I failed to crit. Oh. Yep. Let's see. I'll collapse Rakan. And he procs back, of course, because he's he's like that. That does nothing. And Prana kills him. Yeah. Um, as I said, I don't know why this team is really strictly a uh, a worse version of the Orion version. Um, so I'm not sure why you want to do that, but you know, I. I Ah, you have a Bastat, I would hope you have an Orion, but maybe not. It did take me a while to get my Orions. Uh, nice, simple, clinical. Nobody died even. Nobody was even close to it. I even have to use a heal. Yeah, I would say that team is a lot worse than uh, with the speed lead. The speed lead, you, you threaten to have both of them move maybe in the first turn. And one of my guild mates is having issues. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, man. Watch my videos. Get better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Uh, that That's not so good. All right. So it could happen here that he chooses... Oh, Katarina. Oh, I was afraid. Don't proc. Don't proc. All right. He didn't proc. All right. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to hope on the Mars here now. Maybe a slow. A slow is always good for prevent a little bit of damage coming out of the Mars. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and get him to proc his little ability there. Slow you soon down. Maybe. I don't think I'm going to be able to cut in between. That would be nice if I could, but... We'll see if I can prevent the Marsh from moving. Have it crit. Crit! Yes! Alright. As I said, you know, earlier, um, Eve, that one, that one was a derp. It's the worst result Katarina can do. And what happened was pretty much <sighs> the Marsh didn't proc. Uh, he chose the right target, but he didn't proc. 
No, I just, this team does have a small chance of losing because of uh, of what happened like there, but it's got to go really go against you if you choose wisely. All right, so we have a very little amount left. So let's see who else can we can pick on. This guy's got a lot of health. Okay. So, yeah, and yeah. My guildy is trying to win the war, too. It's my turn to win the war. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so here, uh, yeah, he does have a couple guys. Now, I'm naturally going to target uh, QB. Um, if I don't kill something, well, I'm just going to kill something, okay? If I kill two targets, that is uh, awesome. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens on Katarina. Ah, that's the two targets I'd like to kill most. And that's one Panda and one Rakan. Now, honestly speaking, it really didn't matter which two targets that you killed. The worst target to leave alive is the uh, Wind Panda, because he can just continually get that extra attack bar and, um, yeah, uh, get the revenge proc. And, and Katarina's slow, so it's hard to cleanse the defense break off her. And, and if you, you know, he gets procs, then, yeah, it's an issue. Now, this guy I'm almost certain to kill because, quite frankly, he has no shields. This guy needs to be on some sort of shield. You need to be able to survive this hit, man. 54k! Now, that does sound like a lot to survive, but to be honest, I actually have seen high-end guilds, there were them, survive a copper nuke. Alright, I got the increased cool time off. So this is pretty straightforward again. Oh, I even got the slow on Theomar, so now he's got less uh, damage output. Not that it mattered. Again, Theomar's, you need a bit more hit points, okay? Um, I'd say the four towers, if you're running... You gotta be running at least 16k. I think my Theomars is somewhere around 18k hit points. You want to be able to survive a hit. Um, I mean, it's not like Copper is ignoring defense on that attack. It's it's just he got two shot. You need to be able to survive more than one hit like that. Okay, even if you're giving up a little bit of attack power. All right, let's let's see what else can we do up here. So this is the more dangerous version of, well, actually it's not. Okay, the most dangerous version of Sierra, in my opinion, is Sierra Orion Theomars. And that's because the proper counter is fire, fire, water, but Theomars could go ham on a fire, and it's hard to kill them with a, him with a fire unit, especially if he's got some sort of uh, extra hit points. This thing... This thing in my mind is just kind of terrible, okay? Uh, Wind Panda, Parna, Kumar. This team looks like um, my Parna team with Rena to cake. Uh, Wind Panda should be just perfect. Wind Panda will never kill um, him. Like in a million years. And I can take a lot of teams against this. This is Lucianable. This is Katarinable. This is Copperable. Um, yeah. We'll just go ahead and take these teams in. We have one, so just need to knock this out. OK. 
Okay, we're good there. No bomb. Oh my gosh, look at his armor break go off. Nothing happens. This is why I bring QB instead of Seek. Now I'm protected for an extra turn from Shasun or from Sierra. In addition, he tanks pretty well. Alright, so I'm going to kill off Sierra and I'm going to expend off the Fallen Blossoms off of Shasun. She violent pro well, she doesn't violent box. She fills up her attack bar and since she's higher speed. No! Alright, that's the worst possibility. See right there? I didn't kill just kill too soon off, and so he violent procs with his DMRs, and he's probably going to win this. As I said, it does happen. It's a small percentage chance. Um, but, you know, this is, this is Summoner's War. The other day, I didn't record it, but my I had my Orion go, um, Six turns on turn one. I don't know how the heck you're beating this. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and exit this one, though. This one, that's a loss. My first loss. Okay, so let's see. Alright, so here I'm going to go after his Perna first. Alright. And we're going to go and collapse for Khan. Get a taunt. Very nice. We'll go ahead and finish off his Perna for first time. And then we'll hit Perna again. Probably so stupid with the Violent Prox. And then Rakan finishes off Perna. Oh, Kumar goes twice. Perna says, screw you. <laughs> goes, and goes three times, four times. Yeah, like I said, guys, uh, Perna's just kind of stupid. Alright. Oh, look. Definitely got to have a little bit of speed on you guys. Oh, okay. See if we get stun, no stun. Hmm. It's not built ah oh, there we go, we got a crit. Alright, got my good uh stuff going on there. Come on, stun. Nope, no stun. I do not want to get the stun today, huh? I just want to proc extra turns. on stun. Hey, I got stun. Now, part of second ability scales off the HP, so at this point, they're doing that low is actually his first ability does more damage than his second. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you back in the, uh, in the next Guild War. And, uh, yeah. Okay, guys. We are back on my Europe account and <coughs> we have another guild war um that just started so I was gonna take a brief look at this shop and then jump right into it. Alright so as you can tell it really just started with us still at hundred percent so no one's won a battle. So let's take a look at this guild. This guild has a couple of guardians, a lot of C threes Oh yeah, quite a few C3s, some C2s. So, should have some interesting matchups in this guild. Some C1s. Let our weaker guild members hit them. Now, we don't have a, a plus 6 or a plus 7 or anything like that, so we'll go ahead and start taking a look at the lineups. Now, I'm going to, if I don't think I could beat both teams, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one, because there's no one's hit anything yet. It's kind of hard to tell. <sighs> so on the first team, you're talking about this is a, a kind of typical team. They're trying to do a, a high damage output, uh, probably on, on Kumalan again, and um, hopefully getting a stun. Now, if you're since this guy's guardian, this this thing's going to be fast, probably 280, 
something like that. And it's probably going to be synced so that his DMRs is going to go and his Kumon's going to go. Um, it really doesn't look like a tough fight, but let's see what else he's got. So this guy's like, I'm going to kill you with Rakan, which is certainly possible. <laughs> Rakan can hit pretty hard. Um, this is a kind of standard team I see around a lot, and um, it's a well-rounded team. Um, it's got, you know, Stripper, um, Sonus Brugans, Theomars, and of course Theomars himself. So it's hard to bring in anything that's going to be incredibly good against all of them. Um, but it's also not incredibly strong against a lot of things too. You can you can actually copper bulldozer this thing when it's a weaker team, um, like the say C1, because the Juno simply won't have the hit points to be able to survive it. But in a C2, C3 player, you're talking that the bulldozer might not be able to kill Juno. It depends on how good your bulldozer is. Um, mine recently got a buff, so it might be able to kill it. Um, if so, it's a unit that basically I'd be trading a unit to try and kill this comp. Now, the other fear, though, is, is that if this guy is on HP, 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 it could be without the Delphoid lead that my copper is not able to one-shot him, and that would be a big problem. Plus, of course, no Delphoid means can't reset Theomar, so he's going to get turns. An interesting defense. This is... You can crack it, it, it but a, a normal standard team, which I have been playing, is going to have some issues with it. <sighs> this team over here, I don't really think is that great. Um, the problem is, is their only damage dealer now is this he's for con. Yes, he does a sustain an aerial. But if you can take the hits from Rakan, and remember, he's not going to hit that often. So if you can take the hits from Rakan, then all you have to do is sustain against these other units, which is not really that much. So, yeah, if he does the taunt, and then he hits you, and then you get taunted again, that could be an issue. Um, what I really see here is this guy has a vulnerability to, to violent proc, killing him off just like Theomars. Should be able to kill Orion with one violent proc, and probably can kill Ariel with one violent proc too. Um, and that leaves you not needing a whole lot of other stuff. It's possible. Yeah. Um, I'm just not sure. Alright, so. Also, I'm trying to delay a little bit to see what kind of my Guild Wars my Guild War guildies can win. Alright, so Kumon with the monkey is kind of interesting. It prevents a lot of damage. But it is yeah, it's just he's got two different passes that he's vulnerable to essentially now. Um now, the thing about that is that you probably want to bring in... You could bring in Tassarin over here, too, and kill him. So, it's not so great that you would want Tassarin on the first team. Um, so, we'll go ahead and try this team right here. And... We'll go you and this team. I'm going to bring this guys in. This team I'm going to bring in. A good question. Who to bring in as a damage dealer here? We're going to go with, um, I think. 
genre. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in a tank and this tank is going to be um let's see what's it going to be it's going to be I want our meta let's see where our meta is where is my our meta it shouldn't be that far down Hmm. Alright guys, you know I'm missing it. Where's my Armada? I don't know where my Armada is. <sighs> Fine. Let's go with a different team then. We'll go with Anvil. We'll go with you. And let's go with uh with Perna. And we'll try that. Not too confident on this first team. I've never tried this out before, but uh, we'll see. Alright, so the only person I'm really scared about is Perna. We'll go ahead and heal up a little bit and take Perna out, hopefully. Yep, Perna's down. Alright. Let's see if we can go stun. No stun. He's got shields up now. So we'll go ahead and take shield making capability offline. And then we'll go ahead and see if we can get a nice armor break. Alright, let's see. See if we can get a crit. Come on. Not too bad. Alright. That that worked out better than I thought. See, my problem is, is that, unlike my Kumon last night, which I had no idea why I did so much damage, I have not been impressed too much by Kumon. See, a lot of people's Kumons, they just, they don't hit nearly hard enough to be any threat. And the shield alone is not going to save you. Now, what you want to do here is avoid <laughs> landing multiple debuffs on Juno. Unfortunately, you have no control of that, of course. But we will see what we can do. Alright, I did not apply glancing. <laughs> My just saying never applies glancing. I don't know what is up with that. Wow, his DMRs didn't violent proc. I mean, I thought thought all DMRs violent proc. Okay, so we'll go ahead. I don't want to. Should move, so we're gonna go ahead and. Fine, we'll hit DMRs once. Um. Anyway, so let's see. Kill. DMR is off. Let's see if we can kill just soon off. Huh. All right. Now, unfortunately, I don't want to apply. Um, I don't want to hit with Orion's third skill on Juno because that would just delay it even more. So that doesn't make it so I can't put it on auto, unfortunately. But, you know, not that bad. That's the problem with this team. It's very extra vulnerable to this team here. I, I don't know if I've ever lost a match with that team uh, versus that team. All right, so my, my guildies have taken out that guy. So let's move on down the line.
Okay, so I think I want to bring in Perna here. And let's bring in my... Oh, who do I want to bring in here? It's an interesting question. So... Okay, guys, sorry about that little interruption, and, uh, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to be able to do this team, these teams. Let's go ahead and move on to somebody else, because I haven't been able to decide. Is that Iuno? That is Iuno. Iuna. Okay, so Iuna has got this huge base HP, which makes her really really tanky. Unfortunately, that's about all it makes her. Okay, so this kind of team, or this team with Theomars, is really, really good against this team. Um, yeah, just really good. So, let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, Bulldozer this team. Hmm, do I want to bulldozer this team? I don't know if I can bulldozer this team after I'm all thinking about it. The reason is because of Orion plus Jultan. I don't know, I think my Messi might be able to speed Orion in, in general, but not Orion plus Jultan. So let's take another look at what we can do here. He has got basically one threat and a stunner. So let's go ahead and bring in um, Team 5 set up. But instead of Reyna, I want a uh, Armor Breaker. So let's bring in Animal. Now I don't have to do this. Um, Water guys would actually be better against here, but uh, my Chandra is just kind of okay ruined. Um, so, let's go ahead and get this one started. And you can hear the basketball game maybe going in the background. Uh, she likes watching basketball. Alright. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, nothing. Alright. Oh, alright. Yeah. Sure, sure. Oh wow, uh, that hurt. Uh, let's go ahead and pick on Kumar. And we'll pick on, um, we'll pick on Jilton. Now, the reason why I was trying to do both is because uh, I could prevent her from doing anything, but that didn't quite work. So let's go ahead and see if we can get an armor breaker on these guys. Yep. And then I'm going to see if I can get a sleep on Orion. Didn't work. Oh, it's Kumar double violent frocks. Well, yeah, double violence. Let me take out his Jewelton. So now he has no... Uh, well, it's still got Orion for armor break. Let's see. Let's poke his Orion a little bit. And Perna comes back. Perna says hello. Um, if I can take out his armor breaker, he really has no chance whatsoever. Let's go ahead and give a little heal up. See if we can get a stun, no stun, see if we can get a stun, that's good, see if we can get a sleep, nope, I don't know what YCB drinks, because quite frankly, my guy never seems to have his stun, <laughs> I mean, his uh, sleep, it never seems to work, alright, well, that team worked okay, alright, so this team, Pretty much what you're doing is CCing, and um, yeah, 
you just see seeing them until until the cows come home. <laughs> it takes a little bit to uh, kill. Yeah, good. We got the uh, endure proc. So now Theomars really is not going to be too much of a threat in future turns. Of course, this turn he certainly is. And of course, he's got out of the armor break, right? Because, you know, he's Theomars. Oh, that was close. Good thing much as soon as ruined with a lot of defense. So we'll go ahead and kill Theomars the first time. Harmless prank is back up. Nice. We get Stun Iuno. Well, he doesn't really have a threat up at the moment, so we'll go ahead and see if we can uh, poke a little bit here at Uno. Come on, give me a violent proc. Oh, wow. Wow, his Iuno is not as tanky as I expected. I expected a much tankier Iuno. I probably could have coppered this straight up. Um... Oh, harmless pranks back up again. Such a broken unit, Orion. And there we go. Now, if you're wondering, my Orion is on violent, and he is like 248, 251, something like that speed on violent. Uh, he's on violent will. Okay. All right, so no one's hit the top ones. No, I like to hit them kind of last in case they use a, lose a unit. It doesn't really matter anymore. So let's see, I'll pick one of these two. Which one do I want to hit? So he's got a Galleon Ritesh Perna. So you kind of want immunity against that. Okay. And team one, he's probably going to get the first turn. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and bring in this team. They really don't have a whole lot here. Um, I can stun or lock down Perna. Um... Yeah, I have will runes, I have shield. I think that'll do okay on that team. Now on this team, I want to go ahead, and he's got a whole bunch of guys. So I'm going to go ahead, and I want to bring in Tassarian. And I'm going to put him as lead for a bit more resistance. And basically, if his guys don't uh, stun, if he doesn't stun with his Orion, or if he, uh, if I uh, get the violent proc out of it, then I think I've won this in this war. Okay, he lands stun on Chasun. Just all right. Unfortunately, I just soon did not violent proc, but I did. Uh, <laughs> sorry, and wants to. Let's go and see. Yes. All right. There we go. See, look at this. This Kumani tickles. I mean, where's the threat in that? He's he he just tickles. Yes, I know his damage gets higher as my HP goes down, but um, he's about dead. This is a guardian player, and his Kumon basically did nothing at all. This is why I am not a huge fan of Kumon. He seems annoying, but you have to make him annoying and a threat. Okay? Which means some pretty good runes. Oh, look. I think there was some violent procs in there. Uh-huh. One shot, huh? 
I'll go ahead and heal up uh, her a little bit. I do admit I like my Perna a lot. I'll uh, I'll show off the Perna stats here um, in a few minutes. Obviously after this Guild War. Let's see. <laughs> okay. He has um. Ah, he did take out Perna. Alright, so let's pick on his uh, Galleon a little bit. Now this should be, if I crit, nope, no crit. Shield goes back up on Arena. Gonna hit him. All right, come on. God, there we go. All right, so that armor breaks down. And of course, he still has have an AOE armor break, but his AOE armor break is not nearly as a a big threat as that because it can. Just, he's not going to attack me even if he armor breaks. So <laughs> I've turned his res back up in two turns. Perna is such a house, I have to admit. Um, yeah, I got lucky on, on getting Perna. It just dropped in my lap one day, I guess you could say. I wasn't spending money, and he just... Yeah, I did a big summoning session, and I, I my jaw hit the floor. When I saw Perna, I was like, I figured he says, you know, uh, you know, Phoenix. I was like, it has to be Sigmarius or something, you know, and looking at it, it's like I, I must be going colorblind or something because, yeah. Well, anyway, guys, um, that is the last war of the day, and this win should hopefully get us into G3, so or keep us in G3, and yeah. So let me show you off a little bit of my runes. So my Perna, he's built semi-tanky. He's got uh, what about 12k, uh, 22k HP um, with 2400ish uh, attack, and uh, the defense really doesn't matter too much because he gets just crappy defense at the start. Uh, plus 68 speed, so he's tuned to be right under my Theomars. Um, now he's only got a 76% crit rate. I'd prefer this to be uh, 85 and his crit damage is a little bit on the low side. With an attack buff and armor break, uh, his second ability can still do 40k-ish damage. Um, still looking for a little bit better runes on this guy, um, as you can see. <sighs> This rune is, is not the best, it's not a legendary, um, right? Uh, this rune is not the best, it's just a 5 star. It's just got high crit rate and, uh, it, you know. Um, this rune, again, not the best. It's got, uh, it, most of these things are not legendary. If these were legendary runes, you would see them even being better. I, generally speaking, rune my Theomars on rune free removal free rune removal day I rune him first over Perna because I want to see how fast I can make him and then I rune Perna but Perna is still on attack crit damage attack okay so yeah in comparison uh, my Theomars is on see he's got this rune that looks pretty saucy his total stats are uh uh, what 19k HP, um, 2300 attack. Um, they're not quite perfectly synced. Um, I simply don't have the correct attack runes to stick in that slot to matter. Um, but he's at higher crit damage. He's not capped for crit if he's not lead, but he's also uh, at least not going to miss 23% of the time if he's not lead. Okay, um, obviously, sorry, he's, uh, fully skilled. Alright, so this is a new rune I got recently, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Uh, I, 
maybe for HP instead of defense percent, but hey, it's a pretty good rune overall. And uh, you can tell this guy has some better runes than Perna. Look at this rune, it's pretty nice roll too. Um, you could argue you went more crit rate here, but it's still it's still a pretty good rune. Um, this is another pretty good rune. Rolls rolled a new attack and crit damage, and then I uh, added on crit rate. Now I could hopefully find another gem and roll crit rate, but violent crit rate gems are kind of difficult to find. And uh, and then this rune has pretty good crit rate on it, and uh, yeah. So anyway, uh. I hope you enjoyed this, guys, and let's see if any of my uh, guildies are, are bitching. <laughs> Five turn Orion, huh? Uh-huh. So. Oh, Falcor. Draw. Draw, stop that. Man. Got to get on that guy. And Fenris, what the heck? Come on, guys, watch my videos. Get stronger. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day, and I will see you next time.